As always, thanks for tuning in. So today we're going to install Super Pixelcade LCD into our Games Legend cabinet. So just a quick look at what we have here. So here's Super Pixel. Here's what the back looks like. And we've got the marquee bezels as well here. And then we've got some screws and hardware. So the first thing you want to do, and I've already done this, is Pixelcade ships with a five, uh, sorry, a 12 volt five, 12 volt five amp power supply. So just have that ready. Um, in the back of Super Pixel K, there's just one connector. Okay. So basically, you're going to connect this to your 12 volts five amp power supply. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And actually, we can just make sure it's going to boot up, but we should actually do this with the power off. So let me go ahead and turn off the power right now. Alexa, turn off Arcade. Um, now when you do this, this is really important. Make sure you have it right side up. So if you look at the back, you'll see some text here. So just make sure that's not upside down. Otherwise, it'll be upside down. I've done that mistake several times. And then just go ahead and fit this in. And then what I've tried to do, different ALUs have different mounting holes, but I've tried to account for all of them. So assuming that I've got yours covered, it's just a matter of lining up the holes, lining up the holes on here to your existing holes. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to use a little easier, I guess, if you have two people. I'm going to take out my wood screws. So it ships with six wood screws. And then just get your Phillips screwdriver. I wouldn't use a power drill here because the um, holes are already drilled for you. And so you don't need the power drill. So let's go ahead and line them up again. And again, these screws are gonna go in nice and easy because we're using the same holes that you had in your ALU. And just hand tight is fine. No need to screw it in super tight. So as you can see, it's nice and sturdy. And then before I forget, make sure that you've also already attached these four hex stands. Um, sorry, I should have mentioned that earlier. So if you didn't, take it off, sorry. Put it back on, but you gotta make sure these four hex stands are on there because that is how we're going to mount our bezels, like so. All right, so that part is done. Um, this is a good time to wipe off and get all those fingerprints off the display because now we're gonna put on the bezel and then if you've got fingerprints, you're, you're going to see it underneath the bezel. So let's just do a quick wipe down here. All right, so we got all the fingerprints off. And just as a side note, um, just be really careful with these LCD screens. If you've ever had like an old laptop that's, you know, the screen got cracked, same thing can happen with these. So just be really careful. They are pretty fragile. So just, you know, don't drop it or anything like that. And so now it's time to put on the bezels. So... There's two bezels, one is the inner piece, and then these are actually labeled, so inner and outer. So let's go ahead and do the inner first. And it's also labeled with the orientation. So that's actually important that you put it right side up, otherwise it won't be centered. Okay, so on this inner bezel piece, you're gonna notice there's a little part here that says remove. So this part we don't need, we're just, oop, got one more piece of tape, let me get rid of that.
Okay, so this part, inner piece says remove. We just, we can throw this away, we don't need it. And then this, we need to peel off the rest of the masking tape, but this is just gonna go like this. And that's what allows you to see the monitor. So let's go ahead and now just peel this off. Again, I, um, this is pretty thin acrylic and it can break. So I would not recommend to pull it off like this. I'm gonna just go to flat surface and peel this off. So just be really careful when peeling this off because this is a pretty thin piece of plastic. Okay, so again, I did that on a flat surface. I'm just taking off this masking tape on both sides of the bezel. So we're just gonna finish it up here. Again, really delicate. Do this on a flat surface. So that's that one. Now let's do the same for the outer bezel, which is clear. So let's again, I'm gonna go to flat surface and take off the masking tape on this one. Okay, so when you're tearing off this masking paper, again, do it on a flat surface. And again, this is pretty thin acrylic. It's um, 1 16th inch, inch thick. So just be real careful. And then you, obviously you wanna take it off on both sides. So do the other side. Just kind of use your fingernails to get it started in the corner here. And then just be careful with the fingerprints because fingerprints, yes, uh, it's really easy to get fingerprints on your acrylic. Oops. So we got our two pieces here. We got our clear piece and then the black piece. This is a good time just to take a cloth and just kind of get all the fingerprints off this guy before we mount it. So let's just do that real quick. All right. Okay, so the way this is gonna work is the black is gonna go on the inside followed by the clearer. And if you remember before, we had actually an up arrow telling us which side this should go. And now that that uh, plastic is removed, the masking is removed, there's no more up arrow, uh, but that's okay. So the way you wanna remember this is that you'll notice that one side is a little bit taller. So if you look at this, this side's a little bit taller than that side. So the taller side goes on top. And the way you can remember that is if you look at this actually, See this little bezel here, this frame, this is a little bit thicker than the bottom. So just remember this is thicker, taller. This is also taller, that's how I remember it. And so what we do is we can actually put them on together. So again, black piece first, and I just got more fingerprints. Okay, let's take care of that. And then clear piece over the top. One last check for fingerprints. So we're just gonna take this and line everything up with the holes. And I'm gonna take my thumb screws here and it does ship with the little hex key tool, this guy. So this comes with it. Um, if you have a hex driver, it's a little bit easier. So I'm gonna cheat and use this, but if you don't have that, use the included tool, no problem. And just start. Top, top is a good place to start. And again, just hand tight, don't over tighten it because you don't want to crack. Okay, so before we power it on, there's actually one last step. This part is optional, but if you look at it from the top, see how you can see this gap? So if you want to fill that gap, here's an optional piece here. This comes included. So again, let's just take off that masking tape. And then I made this such that the friction will actually keep it in place. So just like that. So it actually doesn't glue in or screw in anything. It's just kind of the right, <clears throat> the right size to where it'll just Stay there, you can pop it out if you pull on it, but um, that's how that one works. So now you see that gap is filled. Let's just take a look at that from the top. Again, this is only 
if you're looking at it from the top. So if you don't want to do this last part, don't worry about it. But that's, you know, it just looks cleaner. It just looks cleaner that way. So definitely do it. Why not? Um, so that is that top piece. So that, there we have it. Let's go ahead and power on and finish the setup in the software. So unlike Pixelcade LED, Pixelcade LCD connects over Wi-Fi, so it doesn't use up a USB port. So it's gonna give you a message. The first thing you need to do is connect to the Super Pixelcade Wi-Fi network that this is gonna advertise as a one-time thing, just might, like many other IoT devices you might find in your house. So from any device on your network, I'm just gonna do this from my iPhone right now. You could do this from a laptop as well. I'm gonna go here and I'm going to connect to that Super Pixelcade Wi-Fi network. And again, this is just a one-time setup. You only have to do this one time. And once I'm connected to that network, I'm gonna launch a browser and I'm gonna to go to the URL setup.pixelcade. Basically it tells us on here setup.pixelcade.org Okay, and then I'm gonna get a little Wi-Fi setup screen so I can go here, I can see all my Wi-Fi. So you wanna pick the Wi-Fi, basically the same Wi-Fi that your At Games Legend is on. Go ahead and pick it from there. Then go ahead and put in your Wi-Fi password and just make sure you get this right. Okay, and then once I hit submit, this is gonna go ahead and reboot. And basically when it boots up again, it's gonna be connected to my Wi-Fi network. Hopefully I put in my password right, and then we're, uh, we can proceed. Okay, so now that we're connected on Wi-Fi, I'm just gonna go here. Just like with Pixelcade LED, I'm gonna to go to Pixelcade X. And let's do a mount. And then let's do start. All right, so now let's browse some games. So we can start with some of these arcade net games. 